Hello, boys and girls. Please will you forgive me for taking so long since I did my last story. But I've come along with John, my son, today. And I want to say a special hello to a family in North Wales. Um, and that is Seth and Abigail and Joel and Ethan. So hi guys, and I'm really super chuffed that you are enjoying the stories. Now, I'm not sure if it was Joel or maybe Ethan suggested to their mum that they love it when I read by the river and maybe next time I could read a story on top of Everest. Well, I am really pleased that you think I'm capable of getting up there, um, which of course would be no problem, only I've packed away my winter coat for the summer. So you'll have to make do with these lovely little woods. And it's, I climbed a little bit of a hill, if that's all right. So we're going to have our story from up here. Now, I don't know how much of the news you guys watch, but maybe you've been aware that there's been some sad things happening all around the world. And not just about the coronavirus, but about people getting hurt. And I thought, you know what? I've got a story book on my shelf that is a good story to read. And it's called God's Very Good Idea. And you see, everyone is different. And yet we are the same. We look different, we enjoy different things, we speak different and we play different, but we are all valuable, exactly the same. And that was God's idea right from the beginning. So we're gonna read a little story that is part of God's good idea for his creation and his people. And it's by Trillian Eubel and Catalina Shevery. So, and it says a true story about God's delightful, different family. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had a very good idea. It was even better, it was an even better idea than solar panels in 1954, chocolate chip cookies in 1938, the super soaker in 1982, it was even better than colour TV in 1942, it was better than fireworks in 700 BC, before Jesus, it was better than the life raft in 1880, or roller skates in 1760, and it was an even better idea than the x-ray machine in 1895. God's idea was to make people, lots of people, lots of different people who would all enjoy loving him and all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in his image. They would all be like mirrors reflecting what God is like. Because God is full of love they would be full of love too. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. And he said to them, be happy, enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and look after the earth and enjoy the earth. God carried on creating people. All of them were made in his image. And all of them were different too. Some were men and some were women. Some liked reading and some liked riding bikes. Some had darker skin and some had lighter skin. Some had curly hair and some had striped hair. We live in God's world. We are all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak different or play different, but they are all made in God's image. And so they are all valuable. This is God's very good idea. But 
people ruined God's very good idea. The first people chose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they chose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. We are the same. We choose not to love God and so we are not able to love each other like we should. We sin. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different from us. People fight with each other. People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he is not pleased with us. Our sin means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness and people who like riding bikes need forgiveness. People with darker skin need forgiveness and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. People with curly hair need forgiveness and people with straight hair need forgiveness. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person, Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die. But this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sin so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they know. Jesus helps us to love each other. One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and skin colours. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing and finishing his very good idea. But here's a very, very very good part of God's very good idea. What's a spider on my leg? You don't have to wait till then to enjoy it. Jesus welcomes anyone who asks him to forgive them. And when Jesus welcomes someone, he welcomes them into his family forever. He welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and people with lighter skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and people with striped hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters. Your wonderful and colourful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying loving him and loving each other. God made it. People ruined it. He rescued it. He will finish it.
and with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. What an amazingly good God we have. The only sad part about that story is because of the virus, we can't meet together in church. Like sit next to each other and sing with each other. We can just look at each other on the screen. But one day soon, we'll be back together. But the church is still alive. We don't just meet in the building, do we? We can still love one another and help one another. And isn't it wonderful knowing that God made every one of us different and every single one of us is precious because God made us in his image. And even though we've ruined that image, we can ask Jesus to forgive us and when we do, he will truly help us to love people as we really should. So boys and girls, until next time, I'll say my night. Hello again, boys and girls. Right, well, the story I've got for you tonight is brand new. I think it has only just come out. I'm not even sure it's on the bookshelves yet. So it is called The Prisoner's Earthquake and the Midnight Song by Bob Hartman. And it's a true story about how God uses people to save people. 